The question of how the universe came into existence has long perplexed scientists and philosophers. The idea that the universe could have emerged from nothing is hard to grasp, as the concept of nothingness is hard to define and comprehend. The idea that there may have been nothing before the Big Bang can be difficult to grasp, similar to asking what is north of the North Pole, as there is no answer. It can also be hard to understand that everything we see, and even that which is beyond our visibility, once existed in an infinitesimally small point, surrounded by emptiness. However, before we begin our video, we'd greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe to our YouTube channel and also press the bell icon. Let's get started. The Big Bang Theory posits that the universe began as a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. This singularity was thought to be filled with a vast amount of energy and no matter. The singularity is believed to have rapidly expanded and cooled as it did so. As the universe cooled, the energy present in the early universe was converted into matter and antimatter, which eventually combined to form the first atoms. With our current understanding of the origin of the universe, scientists have been able to divide the timeline of the Big Bang into different epochs. The first was the Planck Epoch. From 10 to minus 43 seconds to 10 to minus 36 seconds after the Big Bang, this was the first epoch of the universe. At this time, the universe was very dense and very hot, and the basic forces of nature were not yet clear. The Grand Unification Epoch From 10 to the minus 36 seconds to 10 to the minus 32 seconds after the Big Bang, this epoch lasted. During this time, the universe cooled down enough so that the basic forces of nature could become clear. The Inflationary Epoch this epoch lasted from 10 to the minus 32 seconds to 10 to the minus 12 seconds after the Big Bang. During this time, the universe went through a period called inflation in which it grew quickly. This made the universe smoother and made it possible for the first structures to form. The Electroweak Epoch This epoch lasted from 10 to the minus 12 seconds to 10 to the minus 6 seconds after the Big Bang. During this time, the temperature of the universe dropped enough for the electroweak force to split into the electromagnetic force and the weak nuclear force. The quark glue on plasma epoch. This era lasted from 10 to the minus 6 seconds to 10 to the minus 4 seconds after the Big Bang. During this time, the universe was full of a hot, dense plasma of quarks and gluons that would eventually cool down and combine to form protons and neutrons. The Hadron epoch. This epoch lasted from 10 to the minus 4 seconds to 10 to the minus 2 seconds after the Big Bang. During this time, the universe cooled down enough for quarks and gluons to join together to make hadrons, like protons and neutrons. The Leptin Epoch This epoch lasted from 10 to the minus 2 seconds to 1 second after the Big Bang. During this time, the universe got cold enough for leptins like electrons to show up. The Photon Epoch After the Big Bang, this epoch lasted from 1 second to 3,800,000 years. During this time, the universe was full of a hot, dense plasma of protons, neutrons and electrons that would eventually cool down and combine to form atoms. Singularities are intriguing because they represent a point where the fundamental laws of gravity in the universe break down. Einstein's theory of general relativity, which describes space and time, becomes inapplicable at singularities. Not only do the spatial dimensions disappear, but so does time. Asking about what came before a singularity is like asking about one's location without the concept of space. The question becomes meaningless. Some scientists, like Paul Davies, argue that there was no before the Big Bang because the Big Bang marks the beginning of time. However, recent observations of fluctuations in cosmic microwave background radiation, a remnant of the Big Bang, have cast doubt on this assumption of a singularity, suggesting that the Big Bang may not be the beginning of time. Despite this, the Big Bang theory is supported by a number of observations, such as the expansion of the universe and the abundance of light elements, but it doesn't provide a complete explanation for the origin of the universe. The cause of the singularity and what triggered the expansion of the universe remain mysteries. Several theories have been proposed to explain the origin of the universe, such as quantum fluctuation, the multiverse, and cosmic inflation. However, these theories are still being researched and tested, and it's not clear which, if any, of these ideas will be able to provide a complete explanation for the origin of the universe. 
The quantum fluctuation model of the universe suggests that the universe could have arisen from temporary changes in the amount of energy at a point in empty space, leading to the creation of matter and energy. This theory is based on predictions of quantum mechanics, which states that particles can be created and destroyed in pairs through a process called pair production, and that matter can be created from energy. The uncertainty principle allows for these fluctuations to occur, but this theory is still being researched and debated as it may not provide a complete explanation for the origin of the universe. Cosmic inflation is one of the leading theories about the origins of the universe before the Big Bang. According to this theory, the universe could have come from nothing. This concept may seem strange, but it can be explained by the properties of the early universe. The earliest stages of the Big Bang were incredibly hot, dense, high energy and almost perfectly uniform. The question then arises, how did these properties come about? Typically, there are two options. The universe was born with these properties, known as initial conditions, and there's no further explanation. Or, theoretical physicists can develop explanations for the conditions that existed at the beginning of the universe. Cosmic inflation is a result of the second approach, and has changed our understanding of how the universe came to be, by making specific predictions that differ from standard theories, and seeking to measure these parameters through observation. The theory of cosmic inflation proposes that the hot and dense conditions that existed at the beginning of the universe were not the result of a singularity with infinite heat and density. Instead, it suggests that the hot Big Bang was preceded by a period of extremely high energy density in the fabric of space, which caused the universe to expand rapidly. This inflationary period ended with the energy being converted into matter, antimatter and radiation, resulting in the hot Big Bang that we observe today. This theory provides a detailed explanation for observed features of the universe, such as its uniform temperature, flat spatial geometry, and a lack of evidence for a grand unified epoch. It also makes specific predictions about the type and spectrum of density fluctuations that should exist, which have been confirmed through observations. According to inflation, the structure and complexity of the observable universe we see today can be explained by the natural process of energy transformation occurring within empty space, which is filled with a large amount of field energy. This concept of getting a universe from nothing isn't satisfying to everyone, as the idea of nothingness is difficult to reconcile with the existence of the universe, including space and time, the laws of physics, fundamental constants, and the non-zero field energy inherent to the fabric of space itself. While it is possible to conceptualize a location outside of space, a moment beyond time, or a condition without physical reality, it's difficult to make sense of the concept of absolute nothingness from a physics perspective. The theory of cosmic inflation proposes that the hot and dense conditions at the beginning of the universe may have been caused by a period of rapid expansion in the fabric of space, rather than a singularity with infinite heat and density. The theory explains the observed features of the universe and is supported by observations, but raises questions about the origin of physical laws and constants. It also erases information about a pre-existing state in our observable universe. Despite these unanswered questions, research continues to refine the theory. The question of how the universe and all its components emerged from nothingness remains largely unanswered. However, as our understanding of various sciences improves, we gain insights into the physical processes that may have been involved. The theory of cosmic inflation suggests that the hot and dense conditions at the beginning of the universe may have been the result of a period of extremely high energy density in the fabric of space. However, this theory is still being researched and refined, and it's not yet known if it is a complete explanation for the origin and evolution of the universe. Despite the lack of clear answers, many people continue to ask these questions and seek answers through exploration and research. Some theories suggest that our universe is inside a supermassive black hole. That's it for today. We hope you found our video interesting. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and share it with others. Also, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our new uploads. In the end, thanks for watching and see you next time.